to waiting for local election results to come in. Of course, there are key races that are still too close to call, and we may not know the winners in some of those races for several days. CBS 8's Shannon Handy is live at the Registrar's office in Kearney Mesa with more on that and when the next round of results will be announced. Shannon. Well, Carlo, the last update we got from the registrar's office was very early this morning, but they're not going to release new numbers until tomorrow night at 5 p.m. And with an estimated 500,000 ballots still outstanding, especially in those tight races, anything is possible. How are you? Unlike yesterday, all is quiet outside the registrar's office today. But inside, workers are keeping busy. They've been actively counting ballots around the clock. Today, we're really working on those mail-in ballots that were dropped off at vote centers and ballot drop boxes on election day. So we'll work through today into the evening and work all day tomorrow for our 5 p.m. updated results. San Diego County Registrar Cynthia Paz says the results released so far from the ballots that were turned in early. And with 500,000 still outstanding, there's a lot of work to do. Paz says the process is tedious. Mail in ballots, they go through the signature verification process first. Once their signature verified, then they move on to extraction and then finally tabulation. So, of course, that takes time. That's just for mail in ballots. Provisional ballots go through their own series of checks and balances, which is why it takes so long to learn results. As for when results are released, it differs county to county. For example, while San Diego won't be releasing its numbers until Thursday night, Orange County will release theirs tonight. That could change the outcome of the 49th district race between Republican Brian Marriott and Democratic incumbent Mike Levin. Right now, the San Diego Registrar is showing Levin in the lead by more than 12,000 votes. But once Orange County turns their numbers in, that could change dramatically. Another local race that's too close to call is Measure B, which if passed would allow the city council to adopt a monthly fee for trash pickup for single-family homes and multifamily complexes. Right now, Measure B is failing by less than 2,000 votes. Elections are never over on Election Day. There's still so many outstanding ballots that still need to be added to the count. So again, we will have to wait until tomorrow night at 5 o'clock for new San Diego County numbers to be released. And the registrar was saying that once those numbers are released and they continue to be released over the coming days, that will bump up our voter turnout. Because as of right now, it says that San Diego County's voter turnout was just under 30 percent, which is pretty low. However, she still thinks the voter turnout is going to wind up being between 50 and 60 percent. And Shannon, you talked about this being a time intensive process to count these votes. Is there a deadline for workers to get this done, though? So the election has to be certified by December 8th. So essentially they have an entire month to make sure that all the votes are counted and tabulated. And keep in mind, too, if you dropped your ballot in the mail yesterday, as long as it was postmarked by yesterday, it still counts, even though the registrar's office may not get it for a few more days. But the registrar tells me even though they have until December 8th to certify this election, she does not think they need that much time to count all of the outstanding ballots. All right.